Hey yo, what's up? And welcome to my corner of the internet. So before we get started, please like, comment, and subscribe. That'll be much appreciated. We got goals around these parts and yeah, trying to achieve them. So have you ever just watched an anime that is so pretty, so beautiful, so magical in its visuals that you realize that it's pretty average? And one such anime that I'm watching and several other animes that I've experienced in my life, they're really pretty, but they're beyond average. But they are really pretty. So obviously I'm talking about Wistoria, Wand, and Sword. This recently finished and let me tell you, this anime is average. Like average, middle of the park, there's, there's, there's some goods, there's some bads, it's not a terrible anime, but it's repetitive, it's, it's, it definitely is like something you've seen before. It's a safe pick. And it's definitely a story that we can all get behind. So this is a adventure fantasy. This is written by, I definitely can't say those names. So I'm going to put that on the screen. This is 12 episodes. This is 12 episodes of visual splendor. When they decided to be pretty, this anime is unbelievably pretty. And basically we live in the world of magic. We live in the world of dungeons magical potions academies of wands where magical powers are used pets are had that have their own sorts of powers and our main character is a main character that can only use a sword now i'm not saying that's a bit of a letdown but man oh man oh man do they make the sword look even cooler than most of the magic our main character is kind of a nerd kind of lame but he has the strength of like 10,000 men will is self-assured at times courageous and he has this goal this grand arching goal his childhood friend is a magus and basically they created a new magic they're at the top of the magical tower and will wants to be a part of her life and continue to be with his childhood friend and he suffers through all the struggles of being unable to do magic at a magical academy isn't that weird isn't that strange we've definitely not seen this before that's definitely sarcasm if you do now with all jokes aside this is a really freaking pretty anime. I've said that so many times, but let me get this through your head. This looks amazing. Each episode, the fight sequences, the sakuga, everything looks incredible. This is animated to perfection and the colors, the beauty of the visuals, everything feels great the sound design it looks legendary when you see will put on those goggles and get to moving and the action kicks off you are completely enthralled in how great they made this look and listen if your story's not going to be like crazy well written we're not going to be having the most memorable characters everything's going to be kind of like copy and paste like a couple seasons ago i totally saw a magical anime just like this but if those visuals are on point i'm gonna watch and this was a pleasure to watch let me not lie to you i had so much fun watching this because i just turned off my brain and i enjoyed what it was and also when I say it's average, it just didn't do anything incredible, but it did something that made me at least appreciate the anime for what it was. It had a very consistent message of pushing forward and pushing past your limits and growing past the words of others. Like 
Will is the main character who deals with basically being ostracized by everyone. But you also realize he doesn't kind of care. Like, he cares, but he doesn't really care. It's the other characters that we venture into, like some of his rivals, and their inadequacies and some of the troubles that they face, and them getting past it basically by losing the will or being saved by him in some way, shape, or form. They grow, and we ve- we very often see these moments where characters become average after they deal with their conflict, but I do like the initial conflict of it, even though it flattens most of our like side characters into just being like will support buddies or something like that. Like It feels as though very often this anime is ba- based off of this quote. I forgot who said it. Um, if you judge a fish off its ability to fly, it'll grow up thinking it's stupid. And this anime hedges on this. Very often characters cannot fit into the mold of society, the need for power, the need to succeed within this academic setting and be chosen to be a part of these legions of magicians and go on to the magical world. And also, just letting you know ahead of time, this anime has a second season produced, and I'm totally watching it. This anime has potential. I won't lie, it has potential. I don't know if it's going to get there, because very few anime actually get there. But I think this anime, with the obvious announcement of a season two, they're definitely going to get into more of what makes this anime shine through, even though it may not be the most interesting storytelling ever of like a swordsman that kind of has magic sorry that's kind of a spoiler with like a magical world and like the intricacies and all the things that are going on and even the enemy that was somewhat revealed towards like the last episode but we don't really get a full like the scope broadens but we don't really get a full introduction to all these things so i'm recommending this to you because it is a solid anime like i will never take that away from this anime it's beautiful it's pretty it's just average it's just i think i've just seen so many animes just like this with some of the same premises just performed a little bit differently and the side characters that had great backstories and interesting things to learn from them as they like got more into our main character they lost their dynamicism that actually made them interesting there was moments where i was really solidly happy that there was conflict and there was moments where things just changed and i enjoyed that but i wanted it to continue to be something where characters continue to be dynamic in their flaws their insecurities instead of it becoming like cute anime now we're all friends and we're all competing somewhat like i I wish it gave us a little bit more you know but anyway this is a good average anime with some incredible visuals and i can't wait to see the second season and see where they go with all of this because i'm not reading the manga because it's, it's just too middle of the pack but i'm sure there's some fire there that's just waiting for me but you know whatever i don't know i got a full cup of things that i'm watching at the moment so with all that being said thank you for making it to the end of the video please like comment and subscribe i hope you're having a great week i hope you're doing well it's spooky season i hope you're taking care of yourself good luck and do your best peace